Hello, BookTube. About 60 years ago, Deb and I were making our way through Eastern Europe as a pair of high society jewel thieves, when one day we came across uh, an adorable little urchin. And we had a void in our lives uh, that, the, of the type that marriage tends to produce, and we thought we should take this little urchin in. And he seemed all alone in the world, the, the couple that went to the police claiming to be his parents. They could have been anybody. This was long before DNA testing. So we kept that child. We took him in. We named him Amakai. And we went from country to country with him, and he was a great boon, not only personally, but in our profession. He could fit into spaces that, well, let's be kind, we couldn't fit into anymore. And it was a wonderful time, but after a while, especially once we got back to the States, he just seemed awful whiny and needy for a four-year-old. I mean, are they all like that? He wanted to be fed regularly, he was talking about going to school. Uh, so when, when Deb and I had finally had enough, we were in Vegas and we decided to just hand him a sack of coins and turn him loose on the slot machines. We gave him a few pieces of advice and told him we'd pick him up at supper time and then we booked it out of town on the next Greyhound bus. And uh, as with most of the urchins that we uh, sort of picked up uh, all across our travels, we thought that would be the end of that, but it turns out you never can tell. In a Hallmark card twist on events, Amakai turned up in my life again in time to make apps. <laughs> he made an app for Open Letters Review, the online uh, literary journal where I am an editor. An app that was a thing of beauty. It was in the App Store on your uh, the, the Apple App Store. You could download it by searching for Open Letters Review. And it was a beautiful app version of the literary journal that I'm talking about. It's all new reviews. They're all in a, a length that is designed to be fairly quickly readable. One gulp read, 500 to 800 words, uh, of all new releases by myself and a group of other really good reviewers. And that website existed online, but it didn't have an app version. And the whole idea of Open Letters Review that I had in mind was that it be driven to you rather, rather than you driving to it so that if you it so that a link to pieces shows up in your social media rather than you needing to bookmark and then haunt a site for updates because we're not monthly the way open letters reviews predecessor open letters monthly was we're we update as our guns fire whenever there's a new review that's ready to go we run it so uh, you can of course, bookmark it. You can, of course, do an RSS feed so that you know when it's updated. But it's always nice to have Steve right there in your pants. I think you would agree on that. It's nice to have Steve right there in your hand 24 hours a day. And Amakai's app made that possible. And I guess he must not have any hard feelings because he has now improved on perfection. He has made an Android version of that app that is now available for download in the Google Play Store. So it's not just uh, Microsoft, it's not just Apple anymore. You can go to the Google Play Store, which is the biggest app uh, assortment in the world, I would imagine, certainly in the English-speaking world. Just go to Google's, the Google Play Store, type in Open Letters Review, and you will see it. You will find our app and then just download it. It's free, and it updates automatically when the site is updated, and it's... Uh, it's a beautiful thing, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it's been, the bugs have been pounded out of it uh, by, uh, by Amakai, who must have learned his work ethic and perfectionism from someone else. <laughs> he certainly didn't learn it from me and Deb. <laughs> and there you go, that's a, just a quick tech update for you, is that the final frontier has now been broached. The Open Letters Review app is now available everywhere. It's available in iOS and Android for free. So go ye forth and download it so that you won't have to worry about missing reviews. I uh, was speculating when the, when the Apple version, when the iOS version came out, I was speculating that uh, the presence of the app would probably prompt me to do more reviews of my own on Open Letters. Uh, and that turned out to be true, but <laughs> the real world is, has been steadily intervening, <laughs> which is a good thing because the real world pays the bills. It's been steadily intervening, but nevertheless... Uh, I mean, I, I tell all of you, I try to, I try to link when I, to social media, your various social media, when I have a review somewhere, except open letters. I tend not to do that because usually when work, when the world is not intervening, open letters usually has lots of work by me. And I don't, I don't always remember to do that, but I'm going to.
<laughs> I'm going to. So now that there now that there is an app version of this thing that can be with you at all times, then I will write more. I'm going to do a couple of reviews today. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I just wanted to let you know that this is a quick tech update <laughs> to let you know that we the the app is now universal. Uh, so go to the Google Play Store and see what you think of it. <laughs> so that's all for this. But I'll be back. We have plenty of bookish stuff to talk about. Thank you, Booktube.